Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone SE from 2022 and today I will show you how you can boot this device into DFU mode. Now for this you will need a computer and you want to plug it in to it. So as you can see I have a cable right here. Um, now you will be probably hearing my windows making noises when it detects the computer or the, the phone. I'll make it a little bit louder just so you can actually hear. It is kind of significant uh, what we're gonna hear because it will give us uh, just understanding what's happening on the device once we can't really see anything on it. So uh, to put it into the DFU mode, I'm going to quickly describe it and then I'm, I will actually follow it through. And you can follow me along uh, if, uh, if my description wasn't clear enough. So anyway, we're going to press volume up, then volume down. We're going to hold power key and you will hold it. It will turn off the device so you will see the screen just turn off. At that point you want to count to 3, after 3 seconds you will add a volume down, you will count to 5, and after 5 seconds you will let go of only the power key. So just to kind of like showcase this, we're going to do up, down, hold, add, release, power. That's basically it, just not in this kind of time frame. So let's get going. Volume up, volume down, power. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. It looked like I might have not held long enough the power key. So I'm gonna try this again. Unless it's already in DFU mode, which it actually might look like it is. I think it is in DFU mode, but for some reason, computer didn't show me anything. It might have been uh, to do with the fact that you've seen that pop up, trust this computer. So because I didn't select anything, I guess the phone automatically decided to not trust it, uh, which is absolutely, I think, stupid. Uh, so because of that, the computer has no idea if the device is plugged in right now or not, because why would it matter, right? So right now, because of that, we didn't actually hear anything, which as you can see there is no real way of actually knowing if we succeeded or not uh, by just like first glance the device looks like it's off right but first thing that you'll see uh, or number one you should hear uh, on your computer side when it's plugged in noise that the device basically reconnected because when we turn it off it disconnects then when it boots into the dfu mode it will reconnect even though it looks like it's off so that's the first thing but because we didn't hear the, the actual sound uh, second thing you can see is if you try to hold power key to turn it on it will not do anything it's right now in dfu mode so as long as you're in the dfu mode pa holding power key will not do anything and to leave this mode even though like i keep mentioning the device looks like it's off to leave this mode you will need to press volume up down and then hold again power key that uh, again if there would be sound coming from my computer be like it should uh, you will hear that it disconnects and then after a moment it will again reconnect so let's just do that up down power and there we go once you see the apple logo you can let go that's about it so right now the device will boot back up and here we go. So yeah, anyway, um, that is how you boot it into the DFU mode. Now I'll actually try to do this once more, just so you can actually hopefully hear the computer. But for some reason it doesn't want to now even connect. There we go. Okay, so let's try it again. Now we'll hold it in my hand, it's a little bit easier. So volume up, down, power. I'm holding only power right now. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, 
5. Okay, so I did hear it, but I think because it's going through my uh, through my speaker, like Bluetooth one, it does a little bit of wonky things when it when it doesn't hear any sound, it kind of like turns off. I did hear like literally the ending of, I don't know, a second of this connection sound, maybe half a second of it when it turned on the speaker. So it did sound off, but it was very kind of weak. Let's see if I can, nope, that won't help. Yeah, hopefully you could hear that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna now disconnect it again. So up, down and power. Now let me just... Yeah, I, I cannot for the love of God get it to sound because uh, Windows is absolutely trash when it comes down to uh, dealing with Bluetooth devices, so yeah, it automatically just constantly turns it off when it doesn't hear any kind of sound. And you can basically hear it if I just kind of showcase this annoyance, but normally you would hear the sound like you do on connecting devices, but this is what I get. This is max volume, normally you get this kind of entire sound, but because it's Windows, amazing, uh, when it's not giving any sound, I get only the ending of it because it cuts off. Fantastic. But obviously, uh, you could see that this is basically how you would do it. Um, like I mentioned, I do recommend having some kind of sound uh, because it does give you a, a much better understanding of w what the device is doing, uh, just outside of like seeing it because seeing it doesn't really show you anything. And additional things that I'll point out, if uh, when you're holding those keys, uh, like the sequence of them, and you see Apple logo when trying to get into the DFU mode, that means that you held power key for too long. Try it again by holding uh, the power key a little bit shorter, letting go a little bit earlier. And hopefully that will solve your problem. It's really up to like timing to boot into it. If you're seeing, if you're not seeing anything, not hearing anything from your computer, that means that you held uh, too short the key if you held it for too long it will give you the apple logo so you basically need to find that sweet spot in between to get it correctly into the dfu mode so anyway hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and thanks for watching